Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch right on Wednesday. I got June here with me. She's in the floor. We're in the floor today. Say hi, good morning. <laughs> you can see that while she's kicking her little legs. But I got a couple whips to share with you guys today. Still the same old stuff. Lots flickering. There's a short in the cord or something, so I want to move it. It flickers. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I do have one project that's new that I finished yesterday, but I'm not showing that to you until Friday. It's coming out on Friday. The, the uh video for that. Can you not, we did, can you not do that? It's here. It's here. It's toys. <laughs> and so first is my Halloween blanket, which I had mentioned in one of my vlog tobers that I did some rows in it and then I just had to pull it out because I wanted the yarn to kind of match with the old, the old color rays. <laughs> so the first color that, let's see here. Let me find where I first attached. It was Right here, so I added, I started here with this green. The purple was the original from last year. So I added these colors, it's, you know, they kind of change. So I added three rows so far. Well, like two and a half. Give me these for me. Say, say. <laughs> She's pulling on it. So those colors are there. And then there's the yellow. Bless you. And I added some black at some point, or there somewhere. <laughs> And uh, there's the black that I added. So I added, I'm just trying to stick to the Halloween colors. So I got a bag, I pulled out a bag of my scrap balls, I went through it and um, pulled out all the Halloween colors. I pulled out black, white, reds, greens, oranges, yellows, uh, I think some grays. And then all the scrap balls that I got from Jen that are those colors I put in there. And then the next few days that we still have to do uh, the scrap ball swap, uh, I'll put them in there too. And then all the other scrap balls from Jen, I'll just put in my scrap bucket and I'll use that for hamburgers and uh, blanket squares. Because I'm really wanting to make another, I really want to start another blanket, even though I probably shouldn't, of um, like squares. Like the uh, Maria's Blue Crown, like the Christmas and Halloween blanket I made. She's got a bunch of those. I'd like to make something else. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I've just been thinking. This is the center of my Halloween square from last year. This is a pattern. Uh, I think it's Yarn Utopia, I'm pretty sure. But it's the person who did the 365 Days of Grain Squares. This is one of those. It's called the Web We Weave Square. And I do have little appliques of spiders. There's a black widow. <laughs> and also there's eyeballs. I just made some like creepy looking eyeballs. So as my blanket gets bigger, I'll have to make more spiders and more eyeballs. But I'll do that when the time comes. So that's one whip. And then my other whip, whoop, let's see here. Also, I have the mushroom bag, but uh, it left it on my cart. <laughs> but the other, my other whip that I've been working on, I haven't touched a mushroom bag anyway since I showed it to you guys last week. <laughs> but uh, I've been working on this. I want to try to finish Marie Curry. Where's she at? Where am I looking at? Oh, my hand's cut running up right there. <laughs> um, so I did do some work on her since last time I showed it to you. And there she is. She's headless. <laughs> But last time I showed it to her, to showed her to you, if I can get the words out, she was just legs and underwear, and I think that was it. <laughs> I just got to my underwear. So I did finish, you have to switch to her dress color, and then I did uh, all up to her neck right here. And you're supposed to do like half of her head and then do the dress, but I thought it'd be easier to do the dress before her head was in the way. So I did her little collar. And then I went back and did her the skirt part of her dress. I did have to add some rows because I think this gray yarn that I'm using is a little thinner than the other yarns that I'm using. Um, so I did have to add a little bit more to cover up her feet, which don't have shoes, which I thought was weird. If I had thought about it when I first started out to put shoes on her, because she, they put underwear on her, but not shoes. So she's just barefoot, I guess. <laughs> but the queen had shoes on, but her skirt wasn't to the floor either. But because of her skirt length, she stands up by herself. Her skirt helps hold her up. <laughs> I thought that was neat. But, um, like, if I ever make her again, I'm going to put a little, sh I'm just going to do the first, like, five, four or five rows into black or something to make little shoes. I just still have ends everywhere uh, that I got to weave in. But I usually wait and do that until when I'm done. So now i got to go back and do her head, her arms, and her hair. Right? Yeah. And then her little um, vial of radioactive stuff. <laughs> but that's the back. This is the front. Right? No, this is the front. <laughs> I'll show you right. But yeah, so she's coming along. I'm using, um, the colorway for her skin is, uh, I love this yarn, light peach. Her underwear <laughs> and it's just red heart white. And this gray is a red heart yarn. I know it is, but I don't know what the color is. 
Uh, it's a scrap ball that I have, but I've used it for a lot of things, so I know that it is uh, Red Heart. I just can't remember what the color is. But yeah, so she's living in my cardinal bag that I made. This is one of the first bags I ever made a long time ago. But I love it, so I'm, I'm using it. And she's out of this book. I'll link this book down below if you want to check it out. I love this book. So far, I've only made the Queen and then now Marie Curry, but I would like to eventually make all of them. I'm just holding off because I don't have anywhere to put all of them. So I'm for sure, you know, making Marie Curry out of this book. And then I probably will wait on making any more. Uh, because I don't want to have a bunch of little dolls that I can't sit anywhere. I have nowhere to sit them here. And then the second version of this book comes out in March, I believe. And I'm definitely going to be making Mary Shelley out of that. Okay. Don't you pinky? Because Mary Shelley's in that. And she's the woman who wrote the Frankenstein mo or movie <laughs> book. Um, Frankenstein's Monster. So I'll uh, just throw that in there. So that's my two active whips. I do have the mushroom purse. But like I said, I haven't touched it since last week when I first showed it to you guys and then I do have actually I finished object setting on this shelf but a little bit further down so you can't see it um for a video on Friday I made that yesterday it was pretty quick to make and it was fun and um I made it throughout the day yesterday because I was kind of feeling bad I made, I made most of its body parts <laughs> in the morning and then I finished it last night um but yeah so that's, that's all I got going I want to finish up Marie Curry I'd like to finish up the mushroom bag <laughs> gotta work on it first though um, so I can start some new whips. I want to start a blanket project. I was thinking squares because then I could, um, you know, I could s take one color with me uh, in the car or wherever we're at. And I can work on squares of the, so the solid colors and then come back and put appliques on them later. Uh, I was actually working on my Christmas blanket last year during Christmas time. Because I remember I was working on some of the red squares um, when me and Devin was outside of a church and was letting Jesse go in to shop for us for Christmas. Uh, it's like a community event that they do every year. So I was working on squares while he was in there shopping for us. And it was cute. He got me a mixer. A handheld mixer. Which I needed one because he had actually broke one of mine. <laughs> and he got Devin like a fishing kit. It was real cute. But uh, yeah. So I like having projects like that that I could take everywhere with me. And when it's a square pattern you can just kind of memorize it. You know. Yeah. You see yourself up there. It's like a morning. <laughs> She's waving. She waves like this. Wearing both hands. <laughs> but um. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. So let me know down below what you guys are working on. And feel free to share any links or things like that or people. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here so I can get this video up. It's, it's actually early. It's almost 9. I'm going to try to get it up earlier. Um, sometimes I get them up early and sometimes I get them up really late. But uh, I guess so. Yeah, well, I don't even know what I'm saying. I got to start some laundry. So that's why I'm recording this so early. Because I don't want the laundry noises in the background. Yeah, you tell pretty. Look at you. You know you're pretty. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I'll see you in another video tomorrow for Vlogtober. What is tomorrow? 28. Oh my gosh, it's getting so close. Bye, guys. Say bye. She's watching TV.